at ink balls. And we go like this and we ink it. And then we take something to hold our paper, center it, keep it clean. And then we'd move the bed of the press, and this was wood, and this was wood. And we'd put those together and then we'd have our chase right in the middle. And somebody then would turn a screw to force this down. Now this is the way our Constitution was printed back in the 18, uh, 1790s. This is the way Benjamin Franklin printed 10,000 copies of his Poor Richard's Almanac in 1720. Wow. And uh, uh, the, uh, finally somebody made an iron press, and that was better. And then somebody up in Hartford, Connecticut came up with this. Hey, this was a lot easier than turning that screw. <laughs> and it forces this down to make my impression. And uh, go like that. And uh, I'm going to roll this out. And two people working together on this could make a better impression than I did <laughs> in, the, uh, in the thing. So uh, I'm not even sure. I didn't ink it in the first place, if anybody noticed that. I was talking about doing it. But this is a this is a roller, and rollers come. It's kind of interesting, you know. Your iron press comes 1800, and uh, uh, the uh, towel comes about 1808, and this comes about 1812. It's almost like what happened with the iPhone. You know, when you consider <laughs> is the thing Stages. is technological change happens, <laughs> and it gets better or faster and does more things for you. And that's simply what happened to printing in, uh, in that time period. So I'm going to try that again, and um, this time I'll ink it. Click, move. Now I talk about two people working on this press back in the uh, early 1800s. Uh, uh, it was because of the kind of paper we had. And uh, the paper was made from rags and linen. Oh, and then that's much better, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to put this over here because you need me to dry.